I'm Juliana Hever, and on my new talk show, What Would Juliana Do?, I've got answers for you on diet, fitness, relationships, and more. That's why I invited registered nutritionist Juliana Hever to join us. Juliana, welcome to the show. She's here to talk to us about plant-based nutrition. Anytime you talk about health and beauty, I love everything green. It is vastly easier in the real world to follow a whole food plant-based diet and still reap those phenomenal benefits that you guys saw in just a short amount of time. I see it every day. Since you can't get red meat, where do you get your protein from? What's practical? Oh, there's so much protein in the plant-based world, you would be surprised. The first thing I want you guys to know is that we don't need as much protein as we think we do. You only need about 10% of your total calories to come from protein to be healthy and thrive. So we get too much in our diet anyway. But the plant kingdom is like filled with protein. I mean, you've got these leafy greens. You would never even know it, but leafy greens have almost half of their calories from protein. Beans yeah. is like a protein party. Lentils, tons <laughs> of protein. My diet is a whole food plant-based or a vegan diet. So mm -hmm. basically I want you to eat whole grains, legumes, tons of vegetables and fruits, nuts and seeds. So no meat whatsoever no processed foods. And it's amazing what it can do for your body. And it reduces your risk for chronic disease, pretty much every chronic disease that's out there. So you avoid all meat. Yes, meat, dairy, eggs. All fish. All fish, everything with a mom or a face. <laughs> everything that had a mom or a face, yes. wow. <laughs> so this recipe is called the Spicy Tropical Greens smoothie and it's Ooh. from the, my book, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Gluten-Free Vegan yes. Cooking. So we can make it spicy or we can make it, I don't know if you like spicy. Isn't it really good for your metabolism? It does give you a little boost. Cayenne pepper does boost your metabolism yeah. a little bit. It does, it kind of like revs you up a little. I want to try it and I think it'll make good television. So. Okay, <laughs> hopefully if you like it, it'll be really good. It's like a burrito, but I happen oh. to be allergic to wheat. So instead of a regular tortilla, I use nori. Huh. High in iodine, low in fat, low in calories, and it's really delicious and kind of fun. It's like sushi, but a burrito style. So what I do, there's three different kinds, but this kind is the Mexican kind. We'll so we're gonna take, oh yeah, here, okay, I'll make one. So we're gonna take a little bit of guacamole. So this is just some chopped up jicama, some sliced jicama, which gives it a little zest and crunch. And then I do a little sprinkling of cilantro, and some people who don't like cilantro, you could also do just parsley or something like that. And then I'm gonna finish it up with some salsa. Oh, of I course. love salsa. We need salsa. So that's it, you this. ready? I'm not, I'm not a sushi chef, but you just basically grab the stuff, mm -hmm. Oh, and like a burrito, good, actually. just like that. I eat it like this. Mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely spectacular. It tastes like food thing. Absolutely mm -hmm. spectacular. All gluten is, it's a protein. And it's a protein that you find in wheat, barley, rye, and sometimes oat. A gluten-free diet is really good if you have an allergy, an intolerance, or celiac disease. Other than that, it's not really health beneficial. Plant-based registered dietitian Juliana Hever says people who willingly choose to omit the grain protein will see a difference in their bodies, but because of other reasons. If you're looking at any kind of packaged foods and, and refined foods, that has wheat in it. So when someone eliminates that stuff, they're automatically going to get healthier because they're not eating the fat, the sugar, the artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, all of that stuff. Juliana, what are the key ingredients here? Well, I think all of these ingredients are pretty much superfoods, but what's really special is that they work together synergistically to get absorbed and really help you out. Like for instance, the almond butter is high in, in calcium and vitamin E, but it's also got fat in it. So the fat is going to help you absorb the fat soluble vitamins that are in here. And protein too. And protein too. And then you've got in the citrus and the raspberries, tons of vitamin C. That's going to help you absorb the iron in the spinach. So they mm. all work together. Avocado, flaxseed oils. Juliana, why are these so important to cleanse? Well, especially these fats, they're going to help you absorb the minerals and the, the vitamins as well. But the flaxseed, you know, they're high in fiber. The, even the avocado, did you know that one cup of avocado has almost half your day's worth of fiber? Like no. who would have thunk that no. avocado has so much fiber? So they're great whole food sources of fat. Thank you very much, Juliana. Thank you so oh, much good. for coming and teaching us this. Thank you, Juliana, for coming and sharing this stuff with me and with you guys.